For this project, you'll need a pen, you'll need two pieces of paper, one plain and one sturdy, colorful construction paper. And that little piece was bugging me, so I took it off my paper. <laughs> Even though it didn't really matter. Okay, you're also going to need oil pastels. I'm using the Expressionist Oil Pastels from Cray Pass. These were actually created by the company Sakura, which were the inventors of oil pastels. I'm also grateful to be referencing this beautiful photo of a parrot taken by Eric Pierce of ericpiercephotography.com. Okay, so the first step we're going to do is take our oil pastels and we're going to press blotches of color all over the paper. Now, what we're going to be doing with this later is laying the construction paper over the top and then scratching the colors with the pen onto the green paper. You'll see in a minute. But so bear in mind actually when you're choosing whichever colors you want to lay this down that you don't want to use the colors that are on your main paper. So I'm not using a whole lot of green. I've used a little brighter green that won't blend in with the paper or disappear, I should say. So Okay, now once you're done, lay your construction paper on top and then press firmly with the pen, but not so firmly that you're going to tear through the paper, but firmly enough that it's going to lift the color underneath, which actually doesn't take that much pressure, but just enough. And lay out your design. I'll just let you watch me draw my cute little parrot. Now, if you're going to sign it, you got to do it backwards. So, you might want to practice that first, just to get it right, unless you're just really good. Okay, I flipped it over and you can see that color transferred quite nicely. Now I'm just going to get white and I'm going to color inside all of my lines of the parrot. Now you'll notice that I colored white inside of the mouth and I didn't notice till later that that's actually not part of the parrot, but I fixed it later. Anyhow, try not to cover up the lines or draw over them and remember they will smear if you accidentally do. Now I'm going to blend it and smudge it and smear it with my blending stick. You can leave it just like that if you want. Totally a preference thing. Now I'm going to put some dark green around the parrot and then dark blue around the dark green and then I'm going to blend that.
Now I'm going to follow the lead of the colors that have lined my parrot and I'm just going to add some more pastels over the top of them to make them more vibrant. I'm just laying them right over the colors they were before, blending a tiny bit but not much. I still want it to be pretty random and lovely. Here's where I fix my mistake and I just put some dark green to match the background right back in between his beak. And we are done. Thank you guys for watching. Do you love oil pastels? They're so much fun. Don't forget to share your project with us on Mr. Otter's Facebook page. We'd love to see it. Also subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like this tutorial so we know to keep making more of it. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.